All right, guys, more news tonight. Uh, this time, it is, again, technically, like, a leak source. I know a few other sources that have uh, stated this. I'm going to be talking about uh, Daniel RBK specifically. Don't know who that is. He's a huge source. I would be shocked if you don't know who he is. He's the guy who gave us the exact time, date, everything of the GBK trailer. Also, he's been very reliable throughout the years with most movies. I went through at one point and checked tons of his sources. He's only had a few things wrong. I did hear that he did have some issues with his No Way Home reporting. So take it with a grain of salt if you want to. Though, I do know quite a bit of those. And I know some of them turned out to, like, not, like, necessarily be him wrong but it was stuff cut i don't know it's a mix of things but i know there's a lot of stuff he said that did turn out to be true for no way home too i don't know a lot of stuff turned out bad as you know a lot of people claim but that's not really important right now he's been very accurate in the past that's all that matters he made a big post uh the other day about the apple plus godzilla tv show coming up and we're gonna go over it and i'm gonna try to go over it quick as possible and first up he said that the show is with you know he talked he called it he referred to it as hourglass that's i reported that the other day uh from the other news sources it will be episodic the companies working on it are safe house legendary and apple plus tv uh he left out toho but toho is working on it too um i haven't mentioned safe house in the other video but they were also mentioning today the executive producers include joby harrell uh tory tunnel matt schwartz chris black matt fraction andy cavill and nick pepper don't know any of those guys, but they're a part of it. The main writer will be Chris Black. The creators will be Chris Black and Matt Fraction. The casting director will be Rana Kress. The casting associate will be Emma McKillop. Uh, casting assistant will be Lily Rucker. Japanese casting director will be Yoko uh, Narahashi. I really hope I ambush that. Oh my god, I always feel bad. Start date uh, for filming will start on May 9th and will end on November 16th. The location includes uh, Vancouver, Tokyo, Hawaii. None of this is new info, pretty much, other than a few of the cast or the few of the directing spot stuff. I gave I saw that in my video the other day. Here's where the stuff's gonna get more interesting, and this is stuff I haven't reported about, but it has been out there. He gave us character names and character info. So these are the character names along with a bio of each of them. So be prepared. There's several of these characters. Um, he goes over. So I'm gonna go over all of them. First character he discusses is named Kate. The character is portrayed as a female, late 20s to 30s, Japanese-American, thoughtful but wary with hauntful eyes that survey the world at the distance with good reason because Kate has suffered th severe personal and per professional trauma from which she is yet to make a full recovery, though at times she does have a gallow sense of humor. A former sc school teacher, Kate travels to Japan to settle family affairs. She speaks English with an American accent and a limited amount of Japanese she learned from her father, but instead, Kate... She uncovers a family secret, yet another trauma that disrupts her life even further. Recognizing that running from her problems isn't gonna, uh, going to provide the answers she needs to heal herself, Kate reluctantly embarks on a quest to learn about her family, an adventure that will present her with challenges she never imagined. In the face of these extraordinary obstacles, Kate is understandably angry and violated, but muscles forward in the face of chaos and begins to reconnect with others. Series regular. So she's considered a series regular. Um, from some other sources, I heard she is the main, main character of the show. So our main lead of the show will be this Japanese-American woman that was formerly a teacher and stuff. I'll get into my thoughts here in a second because I just want you to know I am very, I actually am excited about this because this it does give me kind of Heisei vibes to finally have a, you know, a Japanese main character, you know, a Japanese female main character. It, it feels a lot, it feels like a Heisei, especially in some of the names. Next character name is May. May's portrayed as a female, 20s black British expat, sharp, quick-witted, with a strong sense of self in a turbulent world where not much is certain, including her true identity. Her, her roused exterior hides a vulnerable part of May that few get to see. In order to protect them as well as herself, May has a knack for seeing past the bullshit in people and doesn't hold back when calling them out on it. She's also incredibly intelligent, problem-solving, and the second nature to May. Whether it be deciphering a code or finding the loophole, May is always three steps ahead. Of everyone around her she's also a show regular so we'll be seeing her a lot next person is named uh kentaro character is portrayed as a male he's in his 20s japanese youthful and fairy uh but to the extent that he sometimes lacks patience or or manners he's highly intelligent yet he, he is wide-ranging curiosity may have prevented him from finding his niche because he's gone from being an engineer to a low-paid if talented digital artist 
Kentaro's propensity to buck the system of all his own path led him educated overseas as a result. He speaks very good English with a Japanese accent. Though a free spirit, Kentaro is fiercely loyal to his family, having returned from London to support his mother, which whom he now lives in the series. Kentaro embarks on a quest to learn more about his revered yet mysterious father, a journey that will help Kentaro become his own man. He is also a series regular, so we'll be seeing him a lot. It's interesting that something about his mysterious father, but... I'm curious on <laughs> if if Sarazal had another kid we don't know about what well, we'll get into it. Amiko. I just want to ask for forgiveness real quick for calling me Amiko Amiko throughout the rest of this video. I can't change that now, but yeah, that's why I should not speak Japanese. It's Amiko, not Amiko. That name might sound very familiar to you guys. Character is portrayed as a female in her 50s. She's Japanese. She's steady and soothing, particularly when she sees others in pain. Even people she hardly knows or struggles to communicate with. She does not speak English. The devoted wife and mother. Beneath her palace exterior and nurturing uh, demeanor, she can be forceful and take charge, especially when she comes to the aid of her son, Kentaro. In Miko's eyes, no one knows what's better for her son than her, including Kentaro himself. She'll be reoccurring. She won't be a serious regular, but she'll be there here and there. She's a regular. It's interesting. Miko. That, game, that name might sound familiar to you guys. You look back in the old Godzilla films. I, I forget which movie exacts. Like, I forget the exact movies, but... Because I, I don't want to mess it up, because I don't know what all movies she was in. But name probably sounds familiar. Alright, we got two more characters left. Keiko. Character is portrayed as female in her 30s. She's Japanese. She's thoughtful and driven. A brilliant scientist who's often the only woman in the room. She's more than holds her own with male, foreign colleagues. She speaks very good English. They respect her for sticking up for herself and adhering to her principles. Geico is focused on her scientific mission and will do whatever it takes to pursue of knowledge, even putting her own life on the line sometimes. She'll be another series regular. Lots of uh, series regulars being revealed here. Uh, also, a lot of Japanese in this show, which is very great because the show is going to... A lot of shows going to take place in Japanese and we're going to get a lot of Japanese main characters. That's sick. All right, for the final character... On this, on this thing at least. <laughs> Hiroshi, a character is portrayed as male in his 50s. He's a Japanese American. He's a patriarch who lives by his own rules. As a father, he can be engaging, even whimsical, but at other times distant, on occasion even cruel. His mysterious scientific work, he is a PhD uh, who works with satellites, often takes precedent over family. It is as much as calling it occupation. Hiroshi splits his time between Tokyo and San Francisco and is fluent in both Japanese and English. He may speak with a slight Japanese accent, but he's essentially bilingual. Over the course of the series, his family struggles to make sense of who this enigmatic man really is beyond what he cares to reveal them reoccurring. It's being implied he'll be the antagonist or he's like mysterious. So there you guys go. Multiple characters right there. He's a recurring one. I don't know if I mentioned that. We got a few recurring and a few main characters. From what I know, Kate is the main one, and I'm very excited for her. She does sound like she will be an entertaining monster for his character, and I do hope for the best uh, with her. Let me know your guys' thoughts with this, too, but in my opinion, I'm looking forward to this. This is a lot of news, a lot of stuff. This isn't the only source I've heard reporting on this, and, you know, I reported the other day all this stuff with, like, you know, like, we're talking, like... The time period this filming is going to start and there's all these different people. They have yet to announce a director. I don't think they have a director yet from what I've heard. There's no director at the time. But they have basically everything but a director and the people to cast. On here, no, no one's cast. They're just saying who they're looking for for these roles. This is how they're written. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm very excited for Kate. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to lie. She could be a really good monster with character. The other ones, I'm not sure how I feel on. I really just will need to see them in action. That's as simple as that. However, though, I want you guys to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please, as always, feel free to share, like, subscribe. And again, check out Danny RPK. Um, I will I will post his Twitter, um, his Patreon, all that should be hooked up to that. If you guys, anyone wants to support him, but he's... A very good source. You guys can debate in the comments below or whatever, you know, how reliable it is or whatever. But Dan RPK, from what I've seen, has been very good. So I can believe a lot of this info, and he's not the only one reporting it. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Are you excited for this? More news, guys. Oh my god, the Monster vs. Uh, yeah, it's crazy how much news is coming out. Hope everyone has a great night, though. And as always, peace out and bye bye.